Welcome back everyone to Angela's Craft Room. Today I'm going to just show you how to, how to stamp your photo polymer stamping up stamps. Now this is a card I've made with the Jar of Love bundle. So this is the stamp set you get with that one and you get 37 images to stamp which is awesome and then you can also get the matching framelits which is the everyday jars and you get I think it's 17 yes 17 images in there which makes it a breeze to cutting your flowers and your jars out for that one but mainly today I just wanted to show you how I stamp my photopolymer flowers so mainly these this rich raspberry one which I'm just going to show you how I stamp that today because a lot of people are saying that they don't get a crisp image when stamping with that with the photopolymer stamps and there is a couple of tricks so we'll just pop that to the side I'm going to be showing you how not to do it first so normally if I'm using a clear mount stamp set or a wood mount I would just simply have my cardstock on my grid paper and I would just stamp directly on that but with photopolymer it's just a little bit different so we're just going to take a little bit of rich raspberry Now this is how I wouldn't do it I'm on the grid paper okay so I'm just stamping on there So that's your first one, it's your, your main one and then because this is, you can see through and if you look on these photopolymer stamps, right at the top there, there's that little notch sort of thing, well that's what you, when you layer your stamps, that's what you line up for each image now you won't get ink on there and if you do it won't transfer to your work so just remember that so then we've just stamped up so we're just going to put it in the same position so you can see how that doesn't give you a very crisp image But what you do with photopolymer stamps is use the stamping up piercing mat. Now it's quite a firm mat and I have found that that gives you a lot nicer crisp image when you're stamping with your photopolymer stamps. Doesn't matter what, what one you use. So we'll just stamp into into your stamp pad and you're just going to go right down and bring it up and it gives you a really a lot nicer crisp image then I'm just doing the second one so inked up that one and I'm just kind of I know I can see through it so I know where my arrow was for the last image and when you press down you can see the ink you can see through it and you can see the ink transfer through so you can see the difference there's a lot more white showing in this one than there is in that one okay so we'll just do another one I'm not going to cut them out I just wanted to show you this tip and then you just press down and you can if once you're doing it yourself you can see through the block and you can see the image is transferring to the cardstock now if you wanted not so much of a bright just stamp off once you still got plenty of ink on there so 
so I like that one particularly better myself so this is the one where I used it I didn't use the piercing mat and it's not a very nice image it's you you can hardly see the white at all then this was the one directly without stamping off so I just stamped straight into the ink pad and straight onto there and then this is the one if you can see hope you can see I might just zoom in you might get a better oops yeah and if I just move that across so this is the one that I prefer myself but you might like the more whisper white showing on that one and then if you did have the bundle you have this die cut to cut it out so you can see where it's got the little notch up the top there so that would be that would be at the top of my flower so when I was putting it through my big shot I would just line it up like that and it would just go straight straight through the big shot and come out like I have them on my card there and it's quite perfect and these little that little stamp up there that one it's even a separate a separate little stamp in the jar of love if I can just grab that for you it's so tiny it's just a bit hard to see so I'll just take this one that one off there for now especially if you're using the whisper white and then you just it's a real little stamp but I just think it finishes off the flower and I just put it at the top of the flower like that but I will come back in another tutorial and show you how I made that card so you can see how that this one is not stamping off so I've just stamped straight into the whisper white and straight on to my rich raspberry and this one is stamping off and then stamping it onto my flower which I prefer but it just depends what look you're looking for and just one other tip that I have for you so that's using the pierce mat does help an awful lot when you're using photopolymer stamp sets now when this particular leaf from the jar of love and then if you get the bundle you've got the framelit to go with it to cut it out which makes life so easy but I found that when I was stamping with this one in green and then I was trying to line it up it just the stem wouldn't line up in there so the tip I've got for you is just to lay your framelit and then line up your stamp on the framelit like that if it's very sticky because I've used this one quite a bit I had this bundle sitting on my shelf for so long just not knowing what I wanted to create with it and now I've started using it so if you line it up like actually I think yeah this way sorry so if you line it up like this that's right so you've got the leaves 
it's mainly this stem part you need to line up and then you take your acrylic block and just go straight down on it just lift your framelit off and I'll just it's going to be a rich raspberry leaf but that doesn't matter it's just for demonstration purposes so we make sure we've got a nice lot of ink on there and then I'll just grab my pierce mat again it's just a scrap piece of paper so then we're just going to stamp our leaf and as I see, look through there, I can see the ink transferring onto the cardstock. And then I lift that up. Right. Now compared to if I ink that up again and I stamped it without using the pierce mat, making sure there's a, that is got a quite lot of nice ink on there now I'm not using the pierce mat and I press down I can see the ink transferring lift up it's going to make a liar out of me because that's quite a good image but I do find using the piercing mat a lot better but what I'm getting at is how we line that up first Then when you cut that out, if you line that up there, line your leaves up, and if you use your magnetic platform, it's going to be a lot easier. But you can see how you get the stem right in that narrow piece of that framelit. Okay, so if I was just to not line it up using the framelit first like I showed you and I just put it on my stamping up block right so we'll just use this scrap piece of paper then I let's bring in my piercing mat again and I was just to line it I was just to stamp it and remember I haven't use the framelit to line it up like I just showed you and then I just stamped it on there so it's, it's a nice crisp image doing it that way when I line it up there I've got my leaves lined up really nicely but if you you can see there how the stem doesn't follow through where it's going to cut out. So if I was to cut out that as it was there, it would it would the rich raspberry stem would get, a lot of that would get cut off. So this is the one I used the lining up method by the frame using the framelit like I showed you earlier. And I line up my leaves and you can see the stem fits perfectly if I just put that for you just line it up it's a lot easier if you've got a magnetic platform and then it's just the angle of the camera but you can see that stem goes right down inside there if once I have it lined up like that using that technique of using the framelit to pick up your um, your your stamp your photopolymer stamp and it will line exactly up through there for you so that's just a couple of little tips I wanted to show you before I come back to you later and go through this card with you with this one I've seen a lot of people use the jars with the flowers coming out of it 
and um, I just wanted to make something that was more like a bouquet of flowers and using different size flowers and leaves from the jar of love bundle so I hope those tips help you and until next time I look forward to seeing you thank you